Hi everyone, welcome to part 2 of my Wild Thing build. I'm building a 60 plus miles an hour monohull called the Wild Thing. And uh, in the part 1 of this build I showed you how I made the hull, the wooden hull. And in this part I will show you some uh, hardware placement in the hull. And also I will show you how I made the rudder bracket. So yeah, let's start. If we look at the transom, you can see the rudder bracket and the complete rudder design. I made it by myself. Um, of course, I just could have bought a, a nice aluminium rudder. Um, but I like DIY build, as you know. So I constructed my own rudder. And... Uh, during the construction I also made some recordings so I will show you right now how I made it. Alright, this is the first step of my rudder bracket. I glued five pieces of five millimeter plywood together. I made some progress on the rudder bracket. I made a cut for the aluminium bracket that will be mounted to the transom. Put in the holes for the rudder hinge. This is how the rudder assembly looks right now. Um, I made the swivel block where the rudder blade will be attached to. And it already uh, runs quite smoothly. Um, I put the drill bit there and just for uh, to keep the parts together for now. I need to put an actual shaft in there. Um, as you can see in the rudder bracket in the top and in the bottom I put some bushings 6 by 4 millimeter so the outer diameter is 6 and the inner diameter is 4 mm. I glassed the rudder. I put two layers of 50 grams per square meter of glass weave. And uh, I first did these sides. And uh, I have to cut it and sand it down. And then I will do the top and the bottom part. Glassed uh, the hinging part, also with two layers. I cut the glass weave and I lightly sanded it so the rudder bracket looks quite clean again. I still have to glass the top and the, the bottom. And um, as you can see I also put some holes in the rudder bracket. I just like the appearance of it. Also the wood pattern in inside the holes. I will glass uh, the inside of these holes to make the rudder bracket uh, strong stronger again. And I also made uh, the bracket to attach this rudder assembly to the transom. I made it from an aluminium corner profile. Here's the rudder assembly, almost fully complete. I uh, drilled a hole for the steering linkage on the bracket where uh, it is attached to the transom. Finally I made uh, the swivel block from aluminium because uh, the wooden block was just not large enough and also I think the aluminium one is uh, a little bit stronger. The rudder blade is a 2 mm uh, aluminium piece, not yet sharpened, but uh, I might replace it for a carbon fiber uh, blade. I also put uh, a small steering arm and uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. I received the motor for my uh, wild thing. It is a rocket 
brushless motor just received it today so this is a 4074 2000 kV brushless motor it comes with a cooling jacket already and uh, I'm going to put it in the boat right now I also made the servo bracket inside the hull actually uh, the servo is held in place by two wooden blocks one over here and one over here and I epoxied them straight to the bottom of the hole with some thickened epoxy and I made a carbon fiber cross brace and uh, yeah I think it's strong enough it's quite uh, stiff and um, I still have to place this uh, water seal over there but other than that the steering system uh, is finished uh, I also installed the motor for this boat the 4074 it fits quite nicely in between the bracket when I designed it I already took into account to use a 40 series but it's quite a, a snug fit I also made a, a second support for the flex shaft over here it's a small carbon fiber plate which I glued onto the hole with uh, thickened epoxy Yeah, what you hear is the motor, the magnets, so it actually runs quite smooth, but it doesn't sound so. Uh, I also made the lipo tray. I made it from 3 millimeter plywood and I gave it some uh, epoxy coating to make it waterproof. The cuts that you see here are for the lipo straps to hold the lipo in place and this will be positioned here and if I take the lipo which is a uh, 4500 milliamp 60C 6S lipo It will be somewhere like this. As you can see, here I marked the center of gravity, which is 30% of the whole length away from the transom. And um, that way I can check if I can get to the center of gravity uh, and where to place my components next step is also to install the electronic speed control it is a fly color 150 amps and it will be placed about here I will, tell, I will turn the hole around so if I put it somewhere here I can get uh, to the center of gravity 
and I still have some room to shift the LiPo to alter a little bit the center of gravity. Um, just take it out. I will also add some stiffener somewhere here. Like this. And also on the other side. Because I think this middle section of the boat is kind of a weak spot. Or not exactly weak, but I mean, when I put this huge lipo there, and uh, if I crash or flip the hole, this weight will give some impact. So I thought it's better to add some stiffener. So I just made one, and I will make another one for the for the other side. Actually, it has. Uh, An angled bottom so it fits nicely to the hole just needs a little bit more sanding yeah that's about it for now um, next step is uh, yeah to permanently glue in place the lipo tray the stiffener and uh, the electronic speed control and I also have to make the turn fins still so next up I will also glass the top well first I will glue the deck to the, the hole then I will round the edges of the deck all around and then I will glass the deck and um, I will continue the glassing onto the sides and the transom to make the hole really strong. So enough to do still and I hope to see you in part 3. Bye!